Jana Seam from Venus Artistry and I'm totally sorry I've taken a long long time to make another video but I've been super busy and everything so anyways here it is this video is gonna be about how you can lighten your underarms which may have gotten darker and I made a little poll thing on my Facebook so this is the video that you guys wanted to see the most so this is what I'm gonna show you now I think I deserve <laughs> my girlfriend standing there too and she was totally against me doing this video because one reason because when I had to show you how to lighten your underarms I had to tell you how you have to remove the hair from your underarms too right because that's a big part of why some people's underarms turn dark is they is because they shave them or they use the cream on them well, how do you get rid of the hair under your underarms you wax them exactly so that's what we're gonna do today so I better get a lot of likes for this video to be walking around with little fuzz under my armpits <laughs> because I am gonna show you <laughs> how to wax your underarms and it's nothing to be embarrassed about and she's hiding next to the toilet but everybody gets hair under their underarms and <laughs> we have to know how to get rid of it properly right so I'm going to show you how to get rid of this the right way and then the procedure that I follow to keep my underarms nice and not dark, okay? So the wax that I'm going to use is Nair, I don't know if you can see that. And by the way, this wax is reusable, you can use this as many times as you want until it turns dark. And some people don't like doing that because they think it's gross. But it's not gross because it's your own hair. You're using it on yourself. It's not like you're getting it is somebody gross. else. It's gross. It's like little hair, like swimming. It's totally in not gross. No, it's, it's not gross. gross. You can it's reuse gross. it if you want to save money. Okay. It's gross. So what we're gonna do is, when you look at, I feel so embarrassed doing this video, but it's okay. It's cool. Everybody has armpit hair, and it's not that bad, anyways. So when you bend your underarm, you can see a crease right here. So the hair from the crease down usually grow downwards and from the crease up usually grow upwards. So if you shave sometimes, you might have like a weird kind of growth. So once you shave, once you uh, wax properly, you're gonna go over it one more time and then you can do it kind of like in different positions. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wax from the crease down first and then I'm gonna wax from the crease up afterwards and I might have to bleep it out because I might curse because it really, really hurts. Okay, and what you can do is if you have really sensitive skin, you can also put um, baby powder on your underarms, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't like baby powder on my underarms. Okay, so here we go. All right, so. We're gonna... Isn't this awesome? You get to see me waxing my armpit hair. No, it's not actually. This is a tutorial for you too, so I'm you better... Have nightmares. <laughs> okay, so just uh, let that cool. So what you have to do is just warm... I usually warm the bigger tub up two minutes and 45 seconds and just let it um, cool down a little until it is a honey consistency almost, a little thicker than that. And if you feel a lot of pain and you have a low tolerance like I do, once you rip it off, you can just tap your skin. <laughs> it sounds funny, but if you tap your skin, it actually distracts you from the pain, okay? So if you put the wax from the top down, you have to rip it from the bottom up, okay? So let's go. Oh, much. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even get all of it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go over it again. I'm gonna have to speed this up. Actually, instead of going back down again, I'm just gonna go up. Okay. And wait for that to dry. Don't you wanna do this too? I bet you got a little peach fuzz under there. Don't lie. <laughs> you can even do this on your bikini. It's easy. If you want to do a Brazilian, you might need a mirror and get in like lots of different positions. <laughs> Takes a lot of time. <laughs> like Kama Sutra positions. <laughs> yes, like Kama Sutra positions. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that hurt. 
I shouldn't have waited an extra three days. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I haven't ripped everything out. So what we're gonna do is, we just have to look down and see where your growth is going. Okay, so downwards, we're gonna go again. And try not to put on too thick of a layer because it's not gonna pull out all the hair. So make it a thin layer on your underarms. And if you get a little bit red, it's okay. Okay, I don't think I'll let it grow too long. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so your underarms are gonna be red after doing this. And I'm just gonna speed this up so you can see exactly what I do. Um, what my routine is. Okay, now there's some wax stuck on me. Just scratch it off. I love this wax because you don't need strips for it. You just peel it off. It's kind of, it's, it's almost like sugaring. You can also use sugar sugaring underneath your, um, in your armpits, but I just find it's a little bit messy. So this is a bit cleaner. Okay, so what you're gonna do afterwards, you might have a little bit of stickiness on your armpits. So what I use is um, this body scrub. I have a little bit left, so. Just get that, and it's um, conditioning as well, so it's gonna clean out the, the wax, and it exfoliates your skin as well, so as you're getting rid of the stickiness, you're also exfoliating your underarm. And if you didn't know this, you can also, to exfoliate your underarms, you can use sponges. You know, you can get them at the dollar store. They're green on one side and yellow on the other side. So you just use the yellow end to um, exfoliate your skin. Okay, so once you've rubbed that in, you could rub it in for maybe about three, four minutes. Just clean the sugar out. I would be taking a shower right now, but since we're on the camera, you know, I can't take a shower. And just wear any kind of raggedy old outfit that you have so you don't get um, wax all over yourself. Okay, so once that we have that done, my assistant, can you give me some, <laughs> give me a towel? I'm gonna use her towel to clean my armpits. <laughs> okay, so dry. And then what you're gonna do afterwards, typically you have to do this um, the next day because if you did it now, it would burn really, really bad. So this is the um, accelerant. It's a lightning accelerant. So I would put one tablespoon of this and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and just rub it under my underarm for maybe about two, three minutes. Let it dry, do another layer, let that dry, do a third layer, and then once that's dry, leave it on for 30 minutes and then wash it off. Okay, so that's what you would do over the core the next day after you're done shape or sorry waxing not shaving and another thing that usually tends to darken your underarms is Deodorant so you have to make sure that you don't wear Deodorants that are too scented. I would actually recommend not wearing Deodorant unless you really really have to wear like you have to go to work you have a meeting something like that but if you get, if you have arms that get a little bit sweaty, put something on like baby powder, which is almost the same thing anyways. And until you're done, all of your lightening of your underarms, I would recommend that you use baby powder until you know your arms are at a color where you actually want them to be. So once that's done, wear deodorant after that, but don't wear it as often because there's a lot of different kinds that will darken your underarms and you don't even realize it. Because obviously, you know, everyone doesn't want to smell like B.O. because that's not cool. But as long as you wear baby powder, you're not going to smell like B.O. So I hope you guys enjoyed the view of my underarms and you learned how to wax yourself and you also figured out how to keep your underarms nice and uh, nice and not dark. And also make sure that whenever you're home, you know, just moisturize your underarms because when they're moisturized, they're also not going to be really getting dark like that. So make sure you moisturize, use your scrub, use the accelerant and um yeah keep them clean you can try the sponge as well you don't have to go out and buy a loofah for like 10 11 dollars go to the dollar store and get like there's like eight pads 
there's like eight pads in one pack so just saved you some money there anyways I hope you guys like this video and if you wanted to find out about the products that I used you can message me on Facebook and just type in Venus artistry and you will find me on there you can also find me on Instagram it's Joby Nassim. I'm gonna have all the information at the end of the video. And what else? You can see me on TV too. Okay, so there's a few different channels. But the main one would be TV One Canada. And my show's name is called Pongra Junction with Gia. And yeah, you can check out all my amazing songs and videos and all that stuff on there. Well, not my songs, because I can't sing. I can't sing to save my life. Other people's songs, but I just host it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you like it, and I said that twice, and it's okay. I'll probably put in a blooper, maybe not. But uh, comment and subscribe, and if you want any information about my hair, because people usually ask me how I get my hair super, super long and thick, you can message me on Facebook and I will tell you about the red oil that I use and I can also tell you how you can get it. Alright, so thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye! Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. Bathroom and I'm really sorry to take blah. <laughs>